Ron, if you could, uh, first of all, the take, you know, Charlie said he was a little, feeling a little tight. I guess obviously you knew that. Um, and then also um, that play out there, what was supposed to happen? Whose ball was that, and did anybody call it off? It's a good question. Uh, we took Charlie out at 86 pitches because he's on four days rest, not five days rest. So he hadn't pitched on, he had pitched on four days rest all year. Um, and, uh, you know, we felt like he had done his job. You know, anytime you take a kid and pitch him on short rest, you have to be cognizant of the fact that pitch counts are going to matter, and we need him uh, next week. So, um, you know, we were we were hoping to get about 80 pitches out of him max, and we got 86 out of him, and he did his job, and uh, and then we turned it over. As far as the play down the line, you know, uh, you know, Jordan Green was was had a better angle on the ball. Obviously, it's a ball on the line, and it's right behind first base. But I played right field. You know, I know what it's like as an outfielder to come in hard on a baseball and you're trying to make a play and the ball's up above you. And sometimes you don't – he was calling the ball. Jordan was calling the ball, and I think Weston called the ball too. I think Weston just called it a little bit too late. There was nothing Jordan could do as far as trying to peel off or get out of the way at that point. I think he just called it a little bit too late. And he's probably just trying to do a little bit too much. It was probably more of Jordan's ball, uh, probably an easier play for Jordan, even though Weston got there. It seems like they collided right as the ball was hitting one of their gloves. I couldn't tell who it hit. Uh, but, you know, Granny's pretty good on balls down the line like that. And he wasn't angling straight back. He was coming, you know, kind of to his left, at a, you know, on a diagonal line. So it probably was more Jordan's ball. I think, um, you know, Weston was just trying to be aggressive. You know, was just trying to make a play. Um, and, uh, you know, unfortunately for, for us, uh, they both collided as they were trying to make the catch, but they were both calling the ball. Coach, I'll ask you the same question I asked Andrew. Um, you know, you guys stumbled a little bit uh, toward the end of uh, conference play. Mm -hmm. um, you got you still have one game, though, against Virginia uh, before uh, the tournament seedings announced. How big is that game, uh, even if it's just from a you know confidence and right the ship perspective? Well, it's a very big game. I mean, we all know what's at stake. I mean, we, we know what's at stake. We're trying to, you know, obviously we're trying to play our best baseball this time of year to put ourselves uh, in a good position moving into next week. So uh, it's a big game. Virginia's a really good ball club. Uh, so, um, you know, they're all important right now uh, for, for every reason. They're important to try to build positive momentum going into, the, in, into a regional. So. Um, so yeah, they're big. I mean, the game tonight was big. It wasn't like we came in just to play a game. I mean, we gave it everything we had. I mean, I threw my number one and my number two starters, you know, to try to do everything I could, um, you know, from a management standpoint to win the game, along with our best two relievers, the two guys, you know, past Eubanks have been our best two guys out of the pen. So we tried to do everything we could. Uh, you know, the bottom line is, is we had two plays that didn't go our way, you know, unfortunately. And, you know, it's not like those plays have happened to us this year in the outfield. Uh, you know, we just dropped two balls and, uh, you know, it happened. So it was, it was obviously, you know, tough luck on our part. But, you know, on the other side, we just couldn't come up with a hit with runners on base. And we had a couple opportunities and just couldn't come up with a two-out hit with runners on base. Uh, so, uh, you know, hopefully uh, with a couple days off, um, you know, we'll regroup and uh, we'll be ready to go on Friday. Any more questions for Coach? All right, thanks, Coach.